Okay, we're going on with uh, baptism. And, and uh, so next, uh, New Testament salvation without baptism. Uh, uh, this woman that we're looking at without baptism, her sins were forgiven uh, and she went away saved. Uh, she was saved without baptism. That's in Luke 7, uh, uh, 47. It says, Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, and to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. <clears throat> in Luke uh, uh, chapter 18, verse 42 through 43, we see that salvation of faith, but without baptism. In John chapter 1, verse 12, which reads, uh, uh, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even <clears throat> to those that believe on his name. And so it's not referring to a particular person, but clearly uh, salvation on belief. Otherwise, John is a liar. But the fact is, he told the truth. No mention of baptism in John chapter 3, verse 14 through 15. But eternal life is for whosoever believeth. And then uh, John 16, 36 <clears throat> explains that he, believeth, he that believeth hath present tense everlasting life. And this is salvation. Everlasting means eternal life. Uh, John 5, 24 explains that he, he that believeth hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death to life. And this sounds like salvation with no mention of baptism. Romans 4, 5 doesn't mention the works of baptism, but only believe on him that justifieth the ungodly. His faith, not baptism, is counted for righteousness. <clears throat> One cannot turn their mind or heart to God in repentance without faith in Christ. To have faith in Christ, one must first believe in Christ. And uh, you'll find that in uh, uh, Romans uh, chapter 10, verse 14. It says, How shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? So, <clears throat> uh, Looks like all of us need to be telling others about Christ so they can hear. Uh, okay. All right, I'll conclude that, and thank you for listening.